Hello everyone and welcome back to Kronos Plays Trails of Cold Steel. Today we are going on our field study. Woo! Yep. Uh, we are going to Himdal. Apparently we're going to the uh, a different side than Group B, but I'm assuming we're going to be trying to solve the problem for Lar and Fee as well. That seems to be the trend. Oh, you're all here! Ready to take off? Ready as we'll ever be. Alright, uh, let's get our tickets at the counter then. Well, the capital's only half an hour west, so at least the fare should be cheap. I mean, do we actually have to pay for this? I thought the school kind of paid for it. Because it makes sense. Like, we're going on their orders. The guy, like, he's always there. Hi, Emma. Ah, I slept as... Oh, you were asking Fee. Yeah, she slept okay. She always sleeps. <laughs> yeah, just call us if you need anything. I guess, yeah. I think, I think it's still a little bit awkward. But that's cool. Hi, Lisa. <laughs> I like how they're just like, look, something's gonna happen. Just get in touch, please. Like, if anything happens, where's, uh, Machias? Where is Maggie? Where's Elliot? The hell, they go to the bathroom and powder their nose? Like... They're not on the map. Oh, Mackie's just said something. Oh, because they're in my parties. Oh my god, I'm dumb. Alright, never mind. I'm dumb, everyone. For some reason, I thought bro both group A and B were sitting out here. No. The group... Group, group, group A is in my body right now. Which makes all the sense. But yeah, for some reason I looked over here, I'm like, oh, there's Emma. So yeah, Group A has to be. Because I'm so used to Emma being with me on these trips. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> I guess, let me guess, you're headed to Himdal this month? That's right. We'd like five tickets to Himdal, please. Coming right up. You know, the Capital Summer Festival is coming up in just two days. I'm sure lots of people will be streaming into the capital to celebrate, so please be, uh, so be careful out there. <laughs> we will, don't worry. I'm used to dealing with it. Uh, yeah. I wonder if I'll be able to play Blades with everyone. I wonder if I'll be able to actually win a game of Blades with everyone. Probably not. Almost certainly not. Though I don't see why we wouldn't be sitting together. Well, okay, we might be getting dropped off at different stations. That makes sense. But still, I think we'd be able to sit together, right? We're going to the same area. Passenger service bound for Himdal now arriving at pl on platform two, electric boogaloo. We all a we ask that all passengers wishing to board please wait on the platform until the train was has come to a complete stop as Kronos runs out of breath. Well, uh, at least we won't be waiting long. There's a train to Himdal every half an hour, after all. So we're really headed to the capital. I've been there a few times before, but it's still pretty unfamiliar territory. I've been there twice before in family business. Same here. I know where Elise's, Acad Elise's academy is, but that's about it. Ah, uh, don't worry, I'll explain more about the city on the way. It's a pretty big city, though. I'm not sure even where to, s not even sure where to start. Yeah, I guess I've been to New York, I've been to Boston, I've been to, well, oh, crap, this is going to sound really awkward, but is Orlando considered a city in Florida? I don't, I don't think it is, but I have been to Orlando before, been to London, that was pretty big. I guess scale-wise, anyways, are pretty big. I think New York is is bigger in general, but London made a bigger impression on me. And then again, there's other reasons for that, I guess. All right, not too much longer now until we arrive. Uh, so let's give me let me give you a quick overview. Himdal is, among many other things, the capital of this country, uh, which means that it's the home of a reigning emperor, His Majesty uh, Urgent Rhys Arnor III. Sure. Rice? Yeah. Even children know that. Shut up, you says. I I didn't know his full name, alright? I know his last name. 
We need more, we need useful local knowledge, not the re <laughs> recreation of the tra travel brochure. Bah. But him is dividing the six main districts. Each district is about as large as the whole town in any of the Emperor's, Empire's provinces. Oh no, the population hovers around 800,000 people. Well, I can hardly imagine how many, that many people in all in one place. It's one of the con continent's largest cities, isn't it? Indeed, it is. Crossbell is known for being a, a thriving center of trade, but its population is only around 500,000. Meanwhile, to the south, the Ribble's capital has around about 300,000 people. The Republic capital is pretty big too, but I don't think it's quite as big as Hindal. Huh, really? Thoughts? What? Oh, I was just wondering what kind of task we may be asked to do in such an expensive city. Expansive, not expensive, but both is true, I guess. I can hardly hazard a guess. Oh. Well, uh, we don't know who our point of contact is, or even where we're going to be staying. Who knows, maybe we end up staying in Elliot's or Mackie's home. <laughs> I doubt it, my house isn't big enough to put all, all, all of us up. But Mackie's dad is the governor, so maybe he'll be staying at his place? I think that's even less likely. Dad spends most of his time in his official residence, so I doubt uh, anyone's going to be at our family's place. Instructor Sarah said there'd be a there'd be a guide of some sorts waiting for us at the station. But she didn't mention who. Oh. Oh, it's Elise, isn't it? You're gonna do that, aren't you, Sarah? That's the instructor for you. Honestly, she never really tells us anything, does she? Okay, so we can only play with... Okay. I guess that makes sense. Hi, Elliot. I can't believe our field study dates can side with the summer festival in Himdal. <laughs> I was wondering if there was another. Uh, if this is another of Instructor Sarah's little schemes. I really wouldn't be surprised. Can't wait to see what horror is await us this month. Besides, that summer festival certainly seems to have caught your attention, though. Is it really that great? Oh yeah, biggest in the country. Uh, there are all kinds of exciting events, including loads of music-related things. Huh, really now? That does sound fun. Hopefully you'll get a chance to drop by your home at some point too. Who knows? The capital's pretty massive after all. It's going to be a uh, going to be a roll of the dice whether or not we're close enough. I'd really like to see my friends, all my friends again though, if I can. Huh? You seem kind of down. Is something wrong? No, it's nothing. I mean, we're going on a field study, not a vacation, right? We can't let ourselves get caught up in the festival atmosphere. We'll wind up with feeling marks. I don't know if I got the willpower to pull that off though. <laughs> well, we can all do it if we try. Anything additional? Just oh, a big concert this year? <laughs> Alright, uh, Laura. St. Estrella's Girls' School is in the capital, correct? If I'm not mistaken, that's the school your sister attends. Do you think well, you'll be visiting her? Huh, I might if I get the chance. Last time we saw one, though, was only a few days ago, though. I'd feel kind of awkward going to see her again so soon. You're her brother! Hmm, I does, it does stand to reason that even siblings would worry about such social faux pas. Uh... No? What? That's weird. I, maybe it's just weird for me. I don't know. That's you, you visit family when you get a chance, if you're on good terms with them anyways. I don't know. Oh, yeah. You don't have any brothers or sisters, do you? I do not. I am an only child. Although I was been asked by some of the girls I know to regard them as my younger sister. Come to think of it, they're enrolled in St. Estrella as well. Girls Academy sure sound like, uh, interesting places. Hope Elise doesn't get corrupted by her environment. You really are a devoted brother. Or rather, you come across as one who's devoted to most anyone aside from himself. You, you think so? <laughs> I do. Perhaps much of this could have been avoided if you if I were more like you. Uh, yeah. Almost definitely. We got a lot on our mind. I wonder there was something I could do to help them. Anything else, Lara? Yeah, I agree. I mean, it was kind of rude not to see her. I, like, I didn't know we were that close to his sister's school. Like, it, 30 minutes or 50 minutes, I think, combined, I think Elise said, would... That's, that's not much time to find. I, yeah, he's busy, and sure, he can't do it every month, even. But we've been here for a little while now. He could have dropped by. And, you know, he has his own reasons that he's dealing with, too. But still. Uh, Machias? So this month's field study is in the capital. 
Uh, we certainly won't be staying at my home, but I wouldn't be at all surprised if some of our tasks sent us there. Yeah, I guess your dad is a pretty busy man, huh? He'd have to be governing the city, uh, he had to be governing a city the size of Himdal. Busy doesn't even begin to describe it. He barely has time to come home most days. And with all the preparations for the festival, I'd be surprised if we even saw him, much less had an opportunity to talk to him. That would be a shame. It is what it is. I'll just be happy if we're able to fill some requests on his behalf so we can lighten his load a bit. Sure, we'll all be more than happy to help. You and Ellie are going to be the stars of this, uh, the stars this time around, after all, so you get to call the shots if you want. <laughs> well, if it is our hometown, uh, we'll take charge of things when we're there, or while we're there, at least in terms of city nav navigation. We'll be able to show you the way to any faculties you need. Thanks, we'll be counting on you. Anything else? Yeah, but we'll be counting on you to take care of Fee and Lara. Uh, because that's- you're the main character, dog, that's why. Not gonna have a long- not gonna have long to enjoy the, the journey this time. Yeah, we're not straying too far from Trista. Do you really enjoy- do you enjoy traveling, then? Somewhat. We used to travel a lot in the core. Dots! I- I see. Did you spend a lot of time admiring the view from the train- through train windows, then? Sometimes. We travel in airships and boats, too. And sometimes we were stowed away in cargo holds, so we couldn't see anything. Dots! It's not like she's deliberately trying to annoy Lara or anything. She might be. And I don't think Lara actually wants to be irritated by her, either. There's gotta be some kind of common ground, something to help get them through this. What's the matter? Oh, it's nothing. Anything else? Huh. You're just we're slightly taller. And more energetic, we could call you Selfie, if you like trains that much. Alright, let's try... <laughs> go easy on me, okay? Shut up, Elliot! I suck at this game, you go easy on me! So, the rule is I have to have okay, then. higher go. than them at the end of each turn. Well, looks like I'm up first. Bolt! I hate you, Elliot. Bolt! Elliot, I swear to God! Bolt! I'm gonna fight you in real life. Bolts! I didn't see that coming. No, you didn't. Oh, dick. Really? You're playing that now? You're damn right I am. Really? You're playing that now? Yeah, uh -huh. I'm gonna win this. I uh, damn right I do. All right. Well, I'm gonna go play the others. <laughs> I know how to play now. All right, I played them all. I won three of them actually this time around, but I lost to um Laura? Yeah, I lost to Laura. The Ministry of Railways wishes to thank all passengers for their patronage. This semi-express line is bound for Himdal. Our next stop is Himdal, the terminus of this express line. Please ensure that you have all your belongings with you when you disembark the train. Huh, looks like we're almost there. Indeed, it doesn't feel as though our train ride was all that long. <laughs> well, him th is just a stone th throws west of uh, Trista. We could have just gone back to Trista at night. Well, yes, that's true, but... Uh, plenty of people commute to work in the capital every day, after all. That is true, actually. If it's not that long of a ride... Like, I used to drive an hour and a half to work. It was awful. It was goddamn awful. I never want to do that again. I actually had two jobs that were the same length. They were actually next to each other. Like, I left my first job in the office uh, there, and I was like, okay, I'm never going to get a job that far away from home again, because it is it just it kills you to drive that long, mentally and physically, every day for seven years. So I was like, hey, never going to do that again. But yeah, well... Lo and behold, the only jobs that, like, pay well and I'm qualified for were actually in that area. So, I had to get another job in that area, and it sucked. Uh, I do kind of miss both those jobs at this point in my life, though, unfortunately. Uh, exactly on the time. Who was this? Oh, it's clear. Wait, what? Really? You're that... I, not what You're I expected at all, to be honest. Military police, if memory serves me correctly. You're Captain Claire, was it? That's right. I'm glad you remember me. I believe it's been about three months since we last met. So 
So, this must be the woman the group who went to Keldic encountered. Yeah! So this is an officer from the fearsome RMP? Yeah, you know me? Um... You done with RMP? Yeah, you know me! Does that mean you're going to be the one assigning our tasks for this month's field study? No, I'm just here to provide a place for you to talk with the person who is. Oh. Oh. He should be here any moment now. Up, oh, here he comes. Perfect timing. No way. Who is it? Oh, is it Mackie's his daddy? I really don't like saying that. Why do you keep doing it then, Kronos? I don't know. Huh. I've seen him in the Imperial Chronicle before. Governor Regnitz, one of the reformists' most influential voices. So this is Machias's father. <laughs> this Why do I keep calling him Machias? Let me introduce myself. I'm Carl Regnitz, Machias's father. Yes, we are aware. Hi. I'm the governor of Heimdall and head of the local government. It's a pleasure to finally meet you, ladies and gentlemen of Class 7. Alright, well, I actually totally thought Elise was going to be our guide. Just, uh, just because Sarah seemed like she'd have fun teasing Reen. Though when I saw Claire, I got kind of excited for that, too. She would be kind of interested to hang around. She seems like it anyways. My apologies uh, for the location. I would have preferred to brief you in City Hall. But I'm regrettably short on time, so I had to, had to ask the captain here to lend us a room. Anyways, let's move on to confirming your assignments and lodgings. Uh, hold on a minute. How did you, of all people, end up being the one to sort out our lodgings and tasks? It, it seems a little too convenient. Yeah, now that you mention it... If you wouldn't mind a a us asking, sir, how did you wind up as our point of contact? <laughs> My apologies, I probably should have explained a little more first. Let me guess, you're on the board? It's actually a very simple reason. I'm here because I sit on the board, yep. I sit on the Thor's Military Academy's board of directors. You what? How? Dots. First he uses his brother, then Elise's mother, and now Mackie's his father? It stretches the bounds of imagination to believe the Academy's choice of directors may mere coincidence. Nod. <laughs> I assure you, the three of us didn't arrange for it to be that way. If anything, I was unsure what to do when the Academy first offered the position to me. The Academy did? Would I be right to assume, in assuming there is some kind of secret reason behind the formation of Class 7? I'm afraid that's not my place to say. But whatever the case may be, I'm the third and final member of the board of directors. What? Fee fees? Oh no, never mind. <laughs> Kinda forgot Fee's backstories there. Laura's dad's not gonna be on the, the board? And that's why I'm the one who's prepared your final uh, your field studies and arranged lodging for you, all of you. Mikey seems uh, defeated. Unbelievable. <laughs> it's all starting to make sense now. Thanks for clearing that up, sir. Anyways, back to what you were saying before. Yes, as I was saying, I'm short on time, so I'm afraid I'll have to keep this brief. Your field study will take place over three days, and of which this is the first. As such, the third day will coincide with the start of the Summer Festival. Each group will be assigned half of the city and tend to a list of needs while I've drawn up for you. So one group takes the eastern half of the city and the other get, group get the, the west? The city's big enough that it looks like we'll be working apart, even though we're all in the same place. Indeed, I'm sure you've seen the, for yourself how vast Himdal is. If both, both groups were to rove around the entire city, you'd have trouble getting anything done. As such, I've broken, down, I've broken it down so that all of Group A's tasks cover the area uh, east of the Vine... Quarrer? Vine Quarrer Street? I don't know. Vine Quarrer Street? I don't know. Hopefully they say that someday. Well, Group B's tasks are focused on the Vine... West of Vine... Oh, okay. So it's just like the main road, right? So we get the east and they get the west? Must be an important street. I believe that that street is the main thoroughway that runs through the city, leading to the Imperial Palace. That's the one. As soon as we leave the station, we'll, you'll see it stretching out to the north. It's hardly a precise division, but for the purpose of this failed study, I'm sure it'll be more than sufficient. Now, I've like, uh, I'd like each group to take one of these envelopes. Addresses and key. Okay. Wait, do we get our own house? 
This envelope looks just like the ones we usually get with our field study itinerary. But what about this address and key? Group A, Outlow Street, 42221. Uh, Group B, Vesta Street, 527126. Oh, Outlow Street. That's around where my family lives. Really? Yep, can't say the address brings any particular place to mind, though. I seem to remember Vesta Street being the main street on the west side of the city. Yes, it's fairly it's a fairly lively working class neighborhood. Dad, are these That's right, these are the addresses you'll be staying while you're here, along with their keys. Both groups will be staying in different places, so I suggest tracking down your lodgings before you start your work. Think of it as a small orienting orienting exercise to help you get a better feel of the city. And to find the ingredient shop. And the equipment shop! Ah, my apologies. I'm afraid I'll have to take my leave now. Dad? Preparations for the Summer Festival have me running from place to place, as you can imagine. I wish I could stay and chat a bit longer, but that's the life of politics for you. Oh, and one more thing. The communication functionality of your Arcus has been enabled in the city. Good luck out there. Wait, hold on a... What does that mean? I thought they were always active. Did, did I misread it? Are they disactive, or...? <sighs> I'm not sure what to make of it all. Since he's the governor, I was expecting him to be, seem a lot more strict, but he actually seems more... playful? <laughs> uh, I feel ashamed you had to see that. He's always been like that, I'm afraid. At least he manages to fulfill his responsibilities as governor somehow. Actually, I heard he's extremely good at his job. Coming from the background he does, he's friendly and down to earth, but people say he was a born leader too. <laughs> the Imperial Chronicle always points him in the favorable light as well. I hear he butts heads with the noble faction far less than his fellow uh, reformist uh, Chancellor Osborne. <laughs> In politics, it's friendly. It's a friendly demeanor. A friendly demeanor can just as easily be an act to sway pop popular sentiment. After all, there aren't many who can waltz in and borrow meeting space from the RMP. <laughs> Claire just smiles in the background. Well, the capital is the nexus in the heart of the nation's entire railway network. As such, the railway military police finds itself indebted daily to Governor Ragnus's good graces. That was just this was just an opportunity for us for us to return a favor, at least a little. Huh. C come on now. Well, thank you for allowing us to meet uh, use this room for the meeting. We need to get our field study underway, so if you'll excuse us. Of course, I wish you well in your studies. If you follow me, I'll escort you to the station's exit. I do wish they had more voiceover in the game. I wish that in every game I play, as I grow older and stupider. Incredible. It's so fast. It has a... It definitely has like a British feel to it. <laughs> The size of the city never ceases to amaze me. Way too many people. It only starts to sink in that uh, that I'm in the capital after I see an orbital tram zipping along. Actually, you know what? This reminds me of like... <sighs> I don't know. I'm, ke I'm getting kind of a lot of different vibes here. Like, it does remind me a little bit of when I was in England, in Southern London anyways, a little bit, not too much. Also reminds me of Seattle a little bit. And also Final Fantasy VIII, is that wrong? It, does, it reminds me of Final Fantasy VIII. Yeah, I don't know what it is, it's like a mix of different locations blurring in my mind. I haven't been to England in a while, so I could just be misremembering it, but... Yeah, I don't know, anyways. Is that what those little train vehicles are? I never heard the, had the opportunity to ride one, but I believe they're used to ferry people around the city more easily. Yeah, they're the main form of public transportation here. They they link all 16 of the capital's main districts. 16? Jesus Christ. There's something of an icon here in Himdal. Their fare is pretty cheap too, which makes them convenient for getting around. Lots of people use them so often that they just buy a yearly pass. Amazing. All that and so many orbital cars on the road too. Ah, is that building off in the, is that building off in the district? A distant 
Yeah, that's the Val. Uh, that would be Valflame Palace, the residence of His Majesty the Emperor. Although, from what I understand, Chancellor Oswald's imperial government is also situated within. Uh, Claire's voice. Yes, that's the case. Anyways, I'll be taking my leave here. I wish you the best of luck on your three-day uh, on your three-day field study. Thank you. Thanks for taking the time to see us off. Dots. She really doesn't seem like an army officer, does she? Indeed, though the really military police are known to be one of the Imperial Army's most elite divisions. Not to mention one of the branches most despised by the aristocracy. If the providence of a province has a railway, you can virtually guarantee they'll use it as an excuse to meddle in the security uh, securities affairs. I've rarely seen them in Legrim, though judging by their accent during our encounter in the na na nature park, they did seem uh, exceptionally well trained. Yeah, even with the same number of soldiers, they had no trouble rolling right over the provisional army. We had no trouble rolling over them, dog. And on top of that, the captain is so elegant and pretty. She even looks good in a uniform. Some people have all the luck. <laughs> it's like she's everything Sarah isn't. <laughs> you can say that again. Though, it seems like those two have, been, have more than a little history between them. Alright, I suppose we ought to be, get moving then. Yeah, we'll need to hop on a tram to where, to, our, to where our lodgings are, then find the addresses we've been giving. We've got a long three days, days ahead of us, so let's give them our best. You can count on it. Philar, take good care of yourselves. You too. May the goddess be with you all. Take care. Alright, bye, bye for now. That's rude, kind of. <laughs> she wishes Fee and Lara the best. Completely ignores Reen, Elliot, and Machias. Machias. Alright, bye for now then. I mean, those two need all that, the, the care in the world, apparently, with their attitudes for each other, but I don't know, it's, it's, kind of, it's it should be interesting to see it played out. Uh, this eastbound Orwell tra tram, it will be operating, mo uh, departing momentarily. All those wishing the board, please do so at this time. The music sounds really familiar, too. Eh, I say that a lot about every, pretty much, JRPG I played recently. I think it's just how the music is portrayed and how it kind of overlaps, not overlaps, but the, the, the rhyme, not the rhymes, but the, like the, the sounds, the beeps and the boops. <laughs> the beeps and the boops, huh, Kronos? Yeah, how they sound, they just kind of end up seeming so similar after a while. I haven't been to the capital in a long time, but I've always, I'm always surprised that as just how big this street is. Why aren't you three sitting in the seat across from them instead of standing directly in front of them? <laughs> really? This view is nothing special to those who've lived here all their lives, but I suppose seeing all the oval cars and trams zipping along must be a real sight to people from the provinces. Indeed, even though in my home province people are depending less and less on horse-drawn carriages, I've never seen so many Orbital cars in one place before. Well, even here, carriages were the standard up until around 20 years ago. But these days, they seem kind of quaint. You never really see them anymore. The Republic's capital has a lot of cars too, just like this. After that, Crossbell probably has the most. Oh, really? You've done a lot of traveling for someone your age. Though I guess when you were in a... Yep, Jaeger works, takes you places. <laughs> Oh, the look on Laura's face. Anyways, where is that Alto Street like? What's Alto, Alto Street like? That's where we're staying while we're here, right? Isn't that where your house is, Elliot? Yeah, it's a pretty calm street, I guess. Ah, we should be taking a right here. So are we going to have to use this tram while we're here, or is it we're just going to be on this side of this, like in this general area? I'm assuming they're not going to make us use the tram constantly, though I guess they might. I, I, would, I shouldn't be too surprised at that if they do, because they, they put us on horseback last time, for Christ's sakes. The calf.
If I get a chance, I want to go to the weapon shop first. I don't really find myself near Alto Street all that often. Looks like you're in a nice part of the city, though. <laughs> you think? Anyways, we should start looking for where our lodgings are. Oh, yeah, Elliot? Uh, you live around here, right? Why don't we drop by your house first? But, well, that does seem like the natural thing to do. I kind of want to see it. Well, it is really neat here, but still, I doubt my dad will be in. Not sure if my sisters will be there either. Yeah, I think you mentioned having an older sister before. All the more reason to pay a visit then, right? Okay, if you insist, thanks. My house is the two-story place with all the flowers around there, over there. Don't know if anyone's home right now, but we can at least have a look. But, like, we can also stop by the store if there's one around. Question marks, huh? Okay, well, can we go to the cafe? No? Alright, cool. Sure. I guess we'll go to Elliot's house next time. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press like below if you're not subscribed yet. When I have a video section, check out some of the content, see if it's true you're liking. If you enjoy watching me live stream at twitch.tv slash give my channel a follow to be notified when I go live. Either way, thanks for watching. Hope you all have a great day.